black heart. Now, she is sporting a pair of blue denim jeans and a purple and black plaid flannel shirt. Her outfit is perfect for both wearing around town and for working in. A pair of comfortable steel-toed boots provide protection for her feet, and a black baseball cap is perfect for summer days. She bought her outfit for only $12.81, and she plans to mix and match each piece with others from her wardrobe. And welcome to you, Annika. I'm going to hand you the microphone, and the judge will visit with you. Hi, Annika. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I am just fine. Okay, you said you wanted to find something that you could use for work. Mm -hmm. So what kind of work are you going to do? Um, a lot of times I do yard work, and I'm looking for a pair of pants that don't cut off my legs, uh, have random scrapes all over, and stuff like that. That's very true. That happens a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. I love the fact that you chose the boots and the hat, because it kind of all goes with the, hey, I'm going to work outside type environment. And that's really a good thing. So you, your goal then was pretty much to get a work outfit, or yeah. was it to... Um, essentially, it was like to get something that I could work in, but also something that I would be okay like going out in, like just to get a bite to eat with my friends or whatever, go to school. Yep. I'm looking from here. I'm looking at it in the construction. Can you tell me a little bit about how it's constructed? What you, what was drew you to want to have this as part of your outfit? Um, well, the jeans are pretty thick. The material is, and the seams are pretty sturdy. So I don't think it's going to fall apart when I'm working or when it's being taken care of, which I'm sure you know how to take care of it. Yeah. How do, how do, what do you have to do to make sure it stays looking the way it is? Both the shirt and the pants are machine wash cold okay. and tumble dry low, so they can go in the same cycle and the laundry that I'm already doing on a regular basis. Um, what grade did you just complete? Uh, 12th grade. Oh, so you're going to probably be leaving home? Yeah. So you have to do your own laundry? Yeah, I'm going to have to. Yeah. <laughs> What kind of plans do you have for the future? Um, I'm planning to go to Missouri S&T in Rolla uh, to study chemical engineering and play soccer. Oh wow, that's a big goal. That'll be a lot of fun to do. Why do you think that this outfit is right then for your for working, but not just for working, but for using otherwise? Like, do you have other things that will go with in your wardrobe? Um, yeah, so the jeans will go with pretty much any shirt I have. Any other flannels that I have, and the flannel can be worn like unbuttoned with a t-shirt underneath or with a hoodie if it's colder outside. I really love the colors on you too. The darker colors like that, especially in the flannel, they look really nice with your complexion. Thank you. <laughs> Looks really good. Um, how many times a year do you expect to wear this? Um, this exact outfit, probably only about four times, but because the jeans are so versatile, I'll probably be wearing them like at least 20 times a year. And the flannel I can wear with other pants a few more times too. Okay, I know you said in part of your write-up that you were interested in some pants that didn't do as much stretching to them because most most of the time and that's what we're wearing, things that stretch a lot. So what makes you think that you will wear these as much as those comfortable, really stretchy ones? Um, I actually think I like these better just because the other ones as I wear them throughout the day, the waistband gets bigger and they don't fit as well. Okay. So if I can find pants that fit throughout the whole day. So you kind of thought about all those things when you were out there shopping. And yeah. Did you have to shop very long to find what you wanted? Um, well, I was planning just to go to Goodwill, but it didn't work out because they didn't have my size in much of anything. It was just large, 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 medium, large, large. Yeah. So, um, I ended up going to uh, the Plato's Closet in Waterloo for the first time to find the jeans. Okay. Did they have a lot of choices there? Um, yeah, a lot more choices. It was just interesting to see that they were more expensive just because of how the Okay, and do you think that, how, what do you think style-wise as far as this outfit goes? Is it something that you would put and wear with your friends easily? Yeah, I think that something like this is something that I probably already wear on a regular basis. It's just finding something that's going to fit throughout the whole day. How about design elements and art principles in your outfit? Can um, you describe any of them? Yeah, so for the pattern of the shirt, um, just because it's not like huge plaid, it's not tiny plaid, you can see it from far away, but it's not like too big. So, yeah. And then the colors, I think, uh, really work well together because they're dark and they don't like overpower my skin tone. Well. No, it's very good. You did a good job with doing that. Well, thank you very much. You did an awesome job with the $15 challenge. Yeah, thank you.
So Brielle gets a special uh, ribbon for our Clover Kids. You want to show your ribbon because it's pretty special. You want to hold your ribbon up here so that you can see. As a Clover Kid, we give the Clover Kid ribbons. They're kind of a special ribbon for them. And Annika is getting a blue ribbon for her outfit. So we will see her back in a few minutes after she changes her clothes. She's a, a clothes change artist. Uh, we're going to be going into the fashion review and she has two outfits so we'll wait for her to come back with her.